morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Ayana Hanra. Today, I'd like to share my experience in finding myself. First, I want to ask you, what are you known for? For me, it's my loud voice. My friends know I'm coming because they can hear me. For nine years, since elementary school, I played the trumpet in the brass band. During practice, the instruments were loud, so we all had to speak loudly. That was how we communicated. My voice became louder and louder. But I didn't think it was so unusual. After I graduated from high school, I went to a one-year college to study English. One day, a, fl a friend laughed and said, Naya, your voice is very loud. I was a little shocked. Really? Is my voice that loud? I felt embarrassed. And I started to notice that my voice is loud, but I couldn't change it easily. This became my first weakness. One more question. What kind of personality do you have? I am really talkative. I can talk and talk without stopping. For me, I cannot survive without talking for even 10 seconds. My mom sometimes told me, you always eat, sleep, or talk. You even talk in your sleep. I thought that was normal. But my friends also told me that I'm too talkative. I thought this meant I'm annoying. This became my second weakness. But I couldn't change myself, so I tried to force myself to not be so loud and not be so talkative. But it was impossible. I was really struggling. Inside, I started to feel like I don't fit in to Japanese society. I am not a typical Japanese, but I couldn't change myself. This became my deeper complex. My mom understood me. She knew that I was trying to find myself. So she encouraged me to try something new. Maybe go overseas. So I decided to study abroad in the US. I chose to study English and business at a college in San Diego, California. When I got there, everything was new, but I couldn't enjoy the place because people could know I knew Japanese by my accent. This triggered my complex one, two, and three. I met a nice Japanese lady, Natsuko-san, at church. She was like a mother to me and the other students. She sensed that I was having a hard time, so I told her about my struggles. Then she surprised me and said, I have done. Your clear loud voice and your positive personality are cool. They are what makes you special. That's your individuality, like a gift from God. She showed me how to just be myself. One day after English class, I heard my Spanish classmate enjoying a chat with our teacher. He had a strong accent too, but he didn't hear. He was just being himself and spoke in his style. Then I realized that, oh, I can have my own style too. These experiences helped me to change my view. So I could fit in finally. I enjoyed a wonderful time there for eight months. Then everything was changed by COVID-19. I didn't want to leave San Diego, but I had no choice. Back in Japan, for 14 days, it was really quiet. No one was home during the day. No shopping, no talking. I was in prison. But it was a good time to listen to my heart. I thought about going back to San Diego, but it was not possible. So I needed to make a new plan in Japan, where I thought I couldn't fit in before. Then I looked and found 
of the YMCA. I was literally happy when I came here. This is a perfect place for me because our college has a lot of international students. So it seems like study abroad in Japan. Surprisingly, I feel comfortable even here in Japan. I am not the same now. I know my uniqueness. Actually, I didn't find my place. I found myself. I might find more weakness in me, but I know how to shift the weakness to strength. Now, what are your special gifts? How can you use them? First, find your true self, then go and enjoy your life. Thank you for listening.